Hi everyone and welcome to a quick video on how to get started with tasks in the board view. Now let's quickly jump into one of the projects here. So let's open this one and let's go into the task section. Now with Proofhub, any project or workspace you create, you also get a task section in it. The tasks added here can be viewed in three different views, the board view, the table view and the Gantt view. In this video, we will only cover the board view. Now, one of the advantages of using the board view is better visibility of how your work is progressing within a project and if everything is being delivered on time. Now, as you can see on the left side, I have added a few task lists here. Task lists help you group your tasks by teams, by different phases of your project or any other way you like. Here I have grouped the tasks in different task lists by different phases of this project. Now let's start by adding a task list here. So let's click on the add option on the top left corner of the screen and select the list option. Now let's give the list a name. I'm also going to associate a workflow to this. So let's select this one right here. And uh, let's also subscribe a few users to the list. Let's select all the writers and uh, let's also select a few other users. I'm going to keep this option enabled for now as I would want users to be able to track time while working on the tasks. And uh, let's keep this option disabled for now. Click on add. And here our task list has been added. Now initially the task list will be completely empty and it will not have any tasks in it. Now let's start by adding a new task here. So click on the add task option, give the task a name and uh, let's assign a user to the task and click on enter. And as you can see, the task has been added right here. Now, if you click on the task, it also gives you multiple other options to manage the details here. For example, let's uh, give this task a deadline. And uh, let's also associate a label to it. And I'm also going to attach a document here for reference. And here our task has been set up. Now, once Holly starts working on the task, she can simply move it from one stage to the next stage. And once the task is moved to the last stage, it will be marked as completed. Now, you can also see how much work is allocated to different people working on different task lists by using the different filter options available on top. Uh, once all the tasks in a task list have been completed, you can also mark the list as archived or you can delete the task list. Now, this was all about managing tasks in the board view. Do let us know if you have any questions and we will be happy to assist.